Hello everyone and this is Tracy920 and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today I wanted to come to you with a different kind of video. I wanted to come to you with a video review on my phone which is called an LG Bolt and I have the Boost Mobile services. So a lot of people are saying uh, Boost Mobile is this, they bad and blah blah blah. But you know what, I have to say guys that I have been with Boost since, um, I'm going to say March of 2008. And I would say, yeah, it has its ups and its downs, and it's not always good, but show me a phone company that is. Now, I used to thought that T-Mobile was the one, but when you think about it, every last one of them have their faults. But we need a phone, correct? So we have to kind of like deal with something. I'm going to back all the way out. So yeah, I wanted to come to you with this phone. I had purchased this phone. It was like May of... Let me take this case off. I had purchased this phone. It was May of this year. And I didn't want to give... Um, uh, early, too early of a review on this phone when I wasn't for sure exactly how this phone works, how it operates, what, it, what it's good for it, what it's bad. You know, some people get phones and within the next two to three weeks they want to uh, write a review saying this, this, that, and the other. Or maybe it's some things that maybe their phone that they had um, gave them problems or issues or whatever. Or maybe they just was completely satisfied with their phone. But see, I'm one, I like to um, take a little bit more time when it comes to these phones, like to really give a good, ad, um, to really give a good review, so I want to go ahead and get started, but first I'm going to clean off my screen, I noticed that I did have some, uh, stuff that was on the screen that didn't look right, um, but this is how I have my, um, home screen when I turn on my phone, I like this way because I'm always able to go right ahead and dial what numbers I want to dial, but even though I have the choice of having the screen, you know, with these icons on it, but, it, excuse the little funny pictures, but, you know, that was just me tripping, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I like the phone like this because it puts everything at my access and, and also I can see it more clear. So with this, uh, I forgot now what they call this, Easy Home Screen, I believe that's what it's called. So if you have an LG Volt phone, I don't know if this is on all LG phones, but I would recommend, I like this screen set, okay? And I like that about this phone. That was the first thing that it even gave you that option. All right. Uh, a lot of people do have where they phones likes to, you know, as they call pocket dial. Now I can say that's one thing I just dislike about any smartphone is because you can have the phone inside of your pocket, and next you know the phone is dialing somebody on your, you know, in your pocket or whatever, <laughs> as you walking or moving around or whatever, the phone dialing someone. But what I usually do when that happens, I just shut this here, uh, you know, I shut this button off right here, and hopefully um, it don't shut back on, okay? So that's good with that part. Well, let me get right on into the review. I did jot down a little things because I didn't want to forget, but I can say with this phone right here, I love the battery life to it. It's not that bad, but if it comes to you having a lot of apps on your phone, and then you might turn around also, and you can have apps that also will eat up your battery life. So you want to kind of like watch the apps that you use also when you're not... Um, Using those particular apps, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you could go to your phone and you want to go to your task manager setting part and see where I have these two apps that I'm not using. You just hit the clear off button and that will clear it off and then that way that app will not be running in a back. I call it the background of your phone, okay? It will be gone. It, and your phone, because sometimes your phone will get hot. So that is the reason why the phone, I believe, gets hot is because those apps will be running in that background and you're not using them and it's just sitting there, you know, running your battery down as well as making your phone run over extra, you know, um, energy, okay? And it's burning up a lot of energy. But I can't say far as calling on this phone is great. Um, I do love how, you know, 
the calls be crystal crystal clear. Uh, you can hear a person real, real good. And um, I think my talk time, the longest I've talked to someone on this phone before, I think it was about a good three hours. And I mean, I didn't go through anything that gave me any indication that this was not a good phone when it come down to talking. Far as the texting part, now I can show and tell you this part. Texting, I like. Also, it was great. So this is how the texting screen looks. And as, as I was saying, is that the thing when it comes down to texting someone, I'm going to act like I'm going to text someone to bring up that screen. The thing I don't like sometimes, I don't know what it could be, but uh, the keyboard would just disappear. I don't know. And But then I would notice like up here where the, the little, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there where the, this right here, where my, how many, bars I have, it'll be missing. As you can see here, I don't really have those many bars up there. I don't I don't really have the many bars right there. And I'm not for sure what that could be because as you can see I do have Wi-Fi. But as I go to text someone, the, the, the keyboard can just disappear and that just irks the crap out of me. Now you talking about one thing that was really seriously like piss me off. <laughs> is that because if I'm in the middle of texting and all of a sudden that happens then once the keyboard decides to come back uh, that word that I was typing I have to start all over again so you know I don't like that but I'm not I still have not figured out what is causing that all right so that is with that but other than that the texts are fine I believe that does not have anything to do with far as uh, the operation of the phone, but at once again, I'm not exactly sure, uh, but uh, yeah, I just don't like that part. The next thing on this phone I believe I would talk about would be the camera. Now, with this camera, is so far I have brought in these cards to do like a demonstration. Hopefully you can uh, see what, what, but at first, it did not want to focus correctly. So I wanted to like show you how it acts when it comes to like focusing. All right. Now somehow it looked like to me it's like a little blurry, but then once you actually let it sit there a while, it focused in real good. But before I was just getting pure blurriness, and I did not like that at all. Okay. But um, yeah. So. This part, I'm noticing that it is like going, as I move the phone, like to and fro, it will focus in on this, and then it will clear itself up, you know, so then once I just let it sit here, let's see if it'll come back in and clear itself up. Actually, no. So since it's not really making this that clear, okay, then I know but I have both my hands kind of full. Let's see if I can do it this way. Let me see if I can do it this way. But maybe I could tap the screen and like somebody was telling me, it still is not all that clear, but I hope that you guys are seeing a clear thing. But yeah, um, that's what I was, I did not too much like with this phone because of that it's like when it comes to this camera it's like it would have it blurry or then it'll go in out in out and no that's not good when you want to take a picture now far as the video part of the phone it works okay um yeah this button right here it shows where i could flip the camera around toward to my front facing camera and um back facing camera and, and so far both of those things to me works fine um but yeah that was about my biggest thing i would say that i did not like about the camera but other than that everything else was fine so moving right along to the next thing the next thing with the phone I would say would be, um, as far as this phone, as far as the voice, the speaker is down here. I wish it was like up here somewhere, but I think with the Bolt number two, 
they do have the speaker up in this part, this area of the phone, I believe, not down here. Because it's kind of like awkward to have the speaker here. And <laughs> when you are listening to something, it's like you've got to turn the phone like this and put it to your ear and all. <laughs> but it does kind of like, it sounds kind of weird, you know, like it depends on what you're listening to. I'll say it that way. It, all things don't sound weird, but it depends on what you are listening to, certain music and stuff like that. Okay, in my phone, I have what they call the, the 32 gigabyte SD card that gives me a limit that gives me a lot of space to where I can download apps because we know apps do take up a lot of space on the phone so you want to kind of like get a card that is going to be able to support you if you are a, a huge app user you know you like a lot of games a lot of gadgets gadgets like Periscope Facebook uh, Instagram uh, the Facebook messenger you know if you really using these things you're going to tend to use and you're going to need a lot of space to run them as well. And that's the reason why I got a bigger uh, app, I mean a bigger SD card that gives me that space, okay? So, um, yes. But another thing, um, the rocker as far as the turn on and off button is here. And this is your volume rocker that's here that's pretty good but a lot of times when you're using the phone and flipping it over and beyond you know trying to get it to rotate or whatever excuse me your hand can hit this rocker here and shut the whole phone off you know like shut it off to where it's a black screen don't turn the phone off off but if you hold it you know you got to really hold it you know and then you'll get the power off and all of that um, but it's just the fact of like say for instance you showing somebody something and you do like this with your hands and turn it by the time you're showing it to that person you didn't shut the whole you didn't shut it down you know to where it's uh you're not the screen part is not showing so i kind of like wish they had the rocker not so much up close up here that it would probably be closer down here but other than that i can really say i like the phone it's probably a little features that you know maybe i don't know what the the uh, lg volt 2 brings i'm gonna have to uh search and find out but yeah that was um pretty much i think this is a great phone for the price that i paid for which was only 99.99 and i really do like the phone i like the bigness of the screen as you can see it's a nice size screen to the phone and it just shows things like if you want to um, um, watch videos or whatever, you know, hit YouTube or whatever you want to do, you are able to see videos and stuff, and I'm trying to hit this, and so I can get to YouTube, so I can show you what I'm talking about, because it's kind of hard, I'm looking through the camera as I'm, um, uh, you, you know, showing you the phone, but as you can see, let's say we'll turn on this video right here, and, um, uh, we'll let it play. And what I would do is turn it this way. And I just love the fullness of that screen. Because you're able to see that video real good. And I will get my little holster, what I have here. And I can, um, you know, I sit my phone inside of it this way. And I'm, I props it up to where I'm able to see uh, whatever video that I want to look at. And it's like looking at a... Um, it's like I'll just put on one of my videos I guess I'll just do this one right here so you guys can get a, a example of what I'm talking about but as you can see how nice and full that screen is and I can open this up right here where I can have it sitting and it's just super great you know what I'm saying like and it actually is a great thing actually because I could be upstairs in my room maybe getting dressed or just chilling and I want to check out a video or something I got a big enough screen to where I can look at it I really really do love that screen I'm not exactly sure the size of it I think it's uh huh, I think 5.4 like 4 inches I think going up and maybe 6 going across I'm not exactly sure how those measurements went but I love it for that okay so yeah, that's it with that part. I didn't want to waste too much time with that. Okay, um, another feature about this phone. Let's see. Take it out of this. 
But so far, yeah, I pretty much really like the phone. The biggest thing, like I said, the faults that I don't like is that the keyboard does what it does if I'm text messaging. But, like, I live inside of a brick house, and I am surrounded by uh, trees as well. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Um, people that I've asked, you know, in the neighborhood that lives around here too, you know, I asked if they dealing with this same problem. And they tell me no. So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm in this shell all by myself, and I just don't like it. <laughs> so, but that is what I've been dealing with pretty much since I've been living here. I've checked with the company, and they would tell me, oh, well, you know, everything looks clear in your area. Um, we don't see any, uh, what you call those, towers down or anything being repaired and so forth and so on. So I just don't know what it could be. Um, like someone told me, I'm really, really going to need to keep Wi-Fi in this house because of that situation. You know, because maybe I, the phone probably, because I know when I had Wi-Fi, when I didn't have it, and I had <clears throat> my other phone, I had a whole lot of issues with that phone. So I guess that has to be true. You know, I'm going to need to keep Wi-Fi or Booster or something that's going to be able to give me that um. I need to work my phone. But other than that, I can say, I can't really say that's a problem of the phone either. But I like this little smooth back back here. Scratchy, like I don't know if you could really see the the graining of it, but it's like a little blockage type feel. I mean, thing going on here. But yeah, um, I had got this little case for the phone from Amazon. Great, and this came with the case. This this came. This is like a covering the phone can go into like this. All right. Then this came with it to where I can use to um, sit my phone in and watch videos all I do deal with that freezing situation I don't know you know I think that's kind of common with most phones and usually um, I could just shut the phone all the way off restart it reboot it as they say and let the phone come back on and a lot of time whatever it be it can clear itself up and I don't have that issue anymore then sometimes it might be where I got to do it again and then at that time it will clear itself up and I don't have that problem anymore um, but yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes down to this phone. For the most half, like I said, it's a pretty good phone when it comes to the price that I paid for it. I really do like the phone. I really, I really, really do. I have to say that I like this phone. Now, I can say the real ugly thing that I would have to say about this uh, phone situation that I totally am really, really pissed off about is the charger now this is the charger which is a usb this is what came with the phone when i purchased the phone and um this is the usb cord of it and look what happened the little black pieces i mean they were around here on my desk but it was like little black pieces that would um that was on this here covering this part of it up and it's just after a while it's like it broke and this is what I have to deal with when I have to charge my phone so but the charger you know it still works just put it inside of a plug and it will work no problem with that but it's just the fact that that piece just broke like that I think that is crazy um, but yeah, so now that right there, I say was real, real ugly. So I went to the Radio Shack slash Sprint store and purchased me another one that looks like this, okay? And it fits a Samsung Galaxy tablet, but as well, it fits my phone. It take this out of this this is like this right and I just have this okay this is the USB cord but yeah this part like this came off of this as you can see see how crazy that is but yeah so I don't want to go on um rambling but I did wanted to come in and give a good review 
on this phone because I like I said I do notice that people like to have a phone or some type of electronic device maybe a couple of weeks or something and then they're so overly excited and they're so ready to share information about the phone or tablet or whatever it is that they purchase without really 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 examining this thing and really using it for a while to see if it really fits up to what they said um but yeah i can say that i if i would i recommend this phone for someone it's a great phone it would be great a very super phone even if you are a heavy app user once again get a 32 gigabyte um sd card and that should help you out a lot um, I would get that anyways because some of the apps that you do like do use up a lot of space, especially if you're talking Facebook, Instagram, you Periscopers, you know, those three main big um, ones right there, even with Twitter, those use a lot of space. So I would really invest in one of those, period, okay? I just want to thank everyone who did share in to, uh, who came in to listen to this video. I hope that it is helpful, um, you know, when it comes down to uh, purchasing phones, you know, especially for someone who's not into that, it, buying those super expensive smartphones, you know. Um, this is a great phone for the price that it is. I ain't paid no more about, with tax, probably 120 something, okay? So I felt that that's not breaking the bank, all right? So, yeah, with that being said, I'm checking to make sure, I believe I have covered mostly everything. But if you have any questions or, or if it was something that you wanted to know that I didn't cover in this, um, uh, in this here video, um, please leave a comment in this um, comment section. Um, it is quite a few things that is on this phone, like it's a knock-knock code and uh like you could sweep your hand over the phone like some type of sensor but see those are things i can't really speak on because i haven't used them okay so that's the reason why i didn't say anything about them because i haven't used them you know i'm basically i am plain jane kind of and i'm not uh into all of that but <laughs> I don't know, you know, because me, myself, you know, it's like I know a lot of people do deal with the knock-knock to lock their phones, you know, that's what it's for, and that type of thing, or maybe a uh, visual of your face or something. I believe this phone does all that, okay, but I don't use it, all right? So, yeah, I just wanted to come in with that, and I hope that what I did uh, cover with this phone that, you know, it was helpful. And, but I do want to thank you all so much for watching and listening. And I wish you all a blessed, wonderful day. Remember to put y'all number one in your heart, your soul, and your mind. So until the next day, guys, I want to wish you all a blessed one. And continue to lift up our family, lift up our, our children. Um, because the enemy is busy. You know, he has a limited time. And we, he knows it. And uh, so we just have to be more prayerful these days because we know that we are in our last, these are the last days. And yeah, so you, um, I'll pray for me and I'll be praying for you. So I wish you all a blessed one. So have a good day. Bye.